about 13, 14, I, I wrote my first song completely by myself. And then I started going to the studio on my off time and just me alone and writing the song. Beyonce's songwriting journey, as she mentioned, started probably during her teenage years. She was into writing songs. Her dad got her and her sister a karaoke machine and she would actually rewrite songs and add harmonies to them. She had a knack for it, giving those tunes her unique touch. She even had her own little karaoke studio set up. As time went on, she and her sister began venturing into actual recording studios. Despite being so young, around the age of nine, they had the privilege of working with experienced songwriters and producers. Back then, she was involved to some extent sharing her thoughts, even though she saw herself as just a kid assisting in some way. Around the ages of 13 or 14, something significant happened. She wrote her very first song all by herself. It was a proud moment for her. With time, she started spending more time alone in the studio, crafting her own songs during her off hours. Interestingly, her dad had a secret plan up his sleeve. He was playing those songs she was creating for record labels, which made her quite mad. After all, she had thought those songs were just for her own enjoyment. But as fate would have it, this secret move by her dad led to something unexpected. One of her creations, Independent Woman, found its way onto a soundtrack, and to top it off, she ended up winning the Songwriter of the Year Award with Esker. It was an unexpected turn of events, driven by her undeniable talent and her dad's strategic moves. Right before I started this, and Pharrell and, and dropped off two incredible songs that were just about finished. I, I just, I rewrote the verses, and but they were perfect when I heard them. Sharing insights about the creation of Destiny's child's album, Survivor, Beyonce revealed a fascinating behind-the-scenes glimpse. When she was working on the songs for the album, she had a method in mind. The way she crafted those tracks was like a puzzle, with each piece designed for a specific member. Picture this, she's sitting down to write, and as the words flow, she's strategically thinking about her fellow group members. For instance, the first verse would be tailor-made for Kelly, the second one for herself, and the third verse for Michelle. It's like she's sketching out a musical blueprint, ensuring that each member's strengths shine through in their respective parts. Now, when they hit the studio, it's not a blank canvas. Beyoncé explains that often the producers already have a clear idea of how the song should sound, even before meeting them. This means less time spent in the studio, which is especially helpful when there's a group dynamic. She's pragmatic about it. If there's someone else in the group who can bring their vision to life more quickly, they go for it. Efficiency is key. This album I actually wrote with great writers, which usually is me by myself. And that's because I wanted to grow and I wanted, um, I wanted it to be different from the last album. You know what's fascinating? Beyonce, the musical powerhouse, confesses that she absolutely loves hanging around top-notch writers. It's like she's revealing this hidden treasure chest of insights into her creative world. Beyonce, the icon of articulation, acknowledging that there are times when she struggles to put her thoughts into words exactly the way she wants. It's like she's inviting us into a realm of vulnerability that we rarely get to witness. Now, Picture her in a room filled with these writing virtuosos, people who can spin words into gold. She's like a magnet drawn to their brilliance and craftsmanship. It's not a sign of defeat, but rather a sign of her insatiable hunger for brilliance. You see, Beyonce's standards are sky high. She's always pushing herself to deliver messages that resonate with depth and precision. And she's not afraid to admit that there are folks out there who can transform language in ways she's only dreamed of. It's this kind of humility that makes her shine even brighter. Everything I wanted without me even telling him. Because usually producers, they, they would assume to give me another crazy in love or something that I've done already. And I've done that and it was a great song, but whenever you try to recreate the same thing, it never works. Beyonce's perspective on creating new ideas is a profound reminder of the importance of pushing boundaries and venturing into uncharted territory. She's essentially highlighting that while something might have been great initially, attempting to replicate it can dampen its essence. She's encouraging us to embrace the thrill of innovation, to step out of our comfort zones and tread the path less travelled. 
It's like she's whispering that the real magic lies in forging ahead, in crafting fresh narratives and sounds that captivate hearts anew. It was actually cute and it inspired me to write a song. And I was like, you know, we can use that negative thing and turn it to a positive thing and do a whole survival video and laugh at them and make a fool out of them. Beyonce's perspective on transforming negativity into creativity is truly remarkable. It's like she's taking life's challenges and flipping them into opportunities to craft something extraordinary. Destinies was compared to a Survivor series. It's like they're on this musical island, waiting to see who remains till the end and who gets voted off. And instead of letting this comparison dampen their spirits, she finds a spark of inspiration. She doesn't just settle for a fleeting thought, she sees a chance to take something negative and turn it into pure gold. It's like she's saying, hey, let's take those doubts and turn them into empowerment. With that idea in mind, she pens a song that's not just about survival, but about thriving in the face of adversity. In the midst of all these challenges, she's finding a way to laugh at the naysayers, to create a survival video that makes them eat their words. It's as if she's using their doubts as fuel for her creativity, crafting a piece of art that not only showcases resilience, but also carries a positive message. She's not just talking about her own experiences. She's reminding us that the power of transformation through art extends to all corners of life. Whether it's battling cancer, standing up against racism, or facing the trials of existence, she's showing us that the act of creation can be a beacon of hope. So in a world where negativity can easily weigh us down, Beyonce's approach stands as a testament to the extraordinary things that can emerge when we channel life's challenges into creative energy. I think the great thing about this album is the fact that it's personal, since Beyonce got a chance to write and produce. So the spotlight shines on Beyonce's extraordinary songwriting talent. It's like her peers, Kelly and Michelle, are in awe of her creative prowess. Kelly openly acknowledges her own gifts, but she's quick to recognize that crafting songs isn't one of them. Then, Michelle chimes in, revealing a gem of insight. She highlights how Beyonce's songwriting prowess is more than just remarkable. It's truly inspiring. Michelle's words carry weight. She shares how Beyonce whipped up Survivor in just five minutes. Now let that sink in. A powerful anthem that resonates with countless individuals was conjured up in a mere five minutes. It's a testament to the lightning-fast brilliance that Beyonce possesses, and it doesn't stop there. Michelle adds that something that would take her six months or even a whole year to accomplish, Beyonce accomplishes with apparent ease. It's like she's a virtuoso who effortlessly paints masterpieces with her words. Michelle's admiration is palpable. She's echoing what so many of us feel when we listen to Beyoncé's music, an awe-inspiring recognition of her ability to turn emotions and experiences into lyrical gold. The first album, I was too young. I didn't know that um, I sh sh was supposed to get percentages and credit for it. In Beyoncé's own words, she reflects on her journey as a songwriter and producer, unveiling a profound evolution in her creative process. In the early days, on her debut album, she admits her youth and naivety, unaware of the intricacies of credits and percentages in the music industry. It was a time of innocence, a time when her focus was more on her artistry than the business side of things. Transitioning to her second album, a pivotal shift occurred. It was here that Beyoncé realized her capability to take charge of her music, to wield the power of production alongside her trusted collaborators. The studio became a sacred space for her and her team, a place where their creative synergy thrived. This album marked the awakening of her confidence, the realization that they didn't require external validation. They could craft their sonic landscape independently. By the third album, Beyoncé's perspective matured even further. The realization struck that her contributions deserved acknowledgement, not just as a performer, but as a mastermind behind the melodies and words that resonated with millions. The evolution wasn't calculated. It wasn't a meticulous plan laid out from the outset. It was a natural progression born from passion, introspection and growth. Beyoncé reminisces about her early aspirations of writing for others, of venturing into uncharted territory. Yet, the emotional intimacy and distinct essence of her writing style, cultivated within Destiny's Child, posed a challenge. The lyrics bore her imprint, 
They echoed her experiences and emotions, and it was no easy task to detach herself from them. It was in the midst of this process that a truth became clear. Beyoncé's songwriting was more than just a craft. It was a connection, a connection that ran deep within her, weaving her own narrative into every word penned. She discovered that to channel her creativity effectively, to authentically write for others, a profound connection was paramount. Only when the artist and the writer resonated on a profound level could the words truly come to life. Beyoncé's journey serves as a testament to the profound importance of this connection between the songwriter and the artist. It's a bond that transcends the mere act of putting words to music. It's an alignment of souls, a meeting of minds, and a sharing of vulnerabilities that breathe life into lyrics. As she ardently believes, artists should be the authors of their own stories, lending their unique essence to the tales they tell. And while collaboration is a beautiful endeavour, the essence of the connection must remain at its core, a shared journey of creativity, authenticity and heartfelt expression. If you found this glimpse into her creative world intriguing, make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up for more. Stay tuned for our next video. Taylor opens up about heartbreaking messages on her insecurities. Join us as we uncover the personal side of another sensational artist.